Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Angry libs attack Trump for disrespecting the Queen, but he got the last laugh. And once again, the liberal mainstream media gets it wrong and tries to portray President Trump as a bumbling idiot. On Friday, President Donald Trump visited England, where he met with Prime Minister Theresa May and Queen Elizabeth II. Everything went very well, but as we know, the media has to attack Trump no matter what. So a media firestorm of epic proportions began. You might be asking yourself what President Trump did this time to upset the fake news industry? Simple, this time it was because he arrived on time. Queen Elizabeth stood on stage in the summer heat for 15 minutes Friday before she was joined by President Donald Trump and then as they walked he blocked her because he chose the wrong side to stand on. The president was fresh from a press conference where he publicly took Prime Minister Theresa May to task over Brexit, as she herself stood right next to him. Here is more via Conservative Tribune. So, as you probably know, President Donald Trump visited England on Friday. He met with Prime Minister Theresa May and Queen Elizabeth II, the latter of which was a media firestorm of epic proportions. All because he arrived on time. Queen Elizabeth stood on stage in the summer heat for 15 minutes Friday before she was joined by President Donald Trump, who was already fresh from a press conference where he publicly knocked Prime Minister Theresa May as she stood beside him, Vice reported. The 92-year-old Elizabeth II, in coat, hat and gloves, stood under a white awning on the Windsor Castle grounds, waiting for Trump's motorcade. He and First Lady Melania Trump eventually stood beside the Queen as some uniformed Brits played the Star Spangled Banner before joining her inside for tea. The BBC reported what happened correctly, though. Trump was on time. Earlier this week, the New York Daily News posted a guide to royal etiquette which we always get reminded of whenever the president visits the UK and which always reminds me why our fine slice of the earth decided to file for divorce in the 18th century. First, the president shouldn't consider arriving for his appointment with the Queen at the agreed-upon time as being on time. When meeting with royalty, guests are expected to be early, according to British etiquette experts to Brett's. As for the American media, the fact that they don't roll their eyes at this sort of nonsense is beyond me. They're generally willing to give the president a pass when it suits them at least when it comes to the intricacies of royal protocol. It didn't suit them in this case. I wonder why. Expecting respect is perfectly reasonable. Expecting world leaders with busy schedules to not arrive on time but instead beforehand seems a bit ridiculous to this reporter, no matter who that leader is. Breaches of etiquette are hardly germane to this president, either. Barack Obama and George W. Bush made gaffes that the British press also devoted reams of paper to as well, proof that this isn't just something unique to Trump. Now, expecting respect from our president towards the outdated perfectly reasonable. Expecting world leaders with busy schedules to not arrive on time but instead beforehand seems a bit ridiculous to this reporter, no matter who that leader is. Breaches of etiquette aren't only limited to this president neither. Barack Obama and George W. Bush made gaffes that the British press also devoted reams of paper to as well proof that this isn't just something unique to Trump. UK Express reported. The Queen shook hands with the U.S. President as she met him at Windsor Castle before greeted First Lady Melania. Donald Trump was being led by the Queen in front of troops, just after their first meeting. President Trump and the First Lady Melania did not bow or curtsy upon first greeting the Queen instead opting for a handshake. The U.S. President appeared to walk ahead leaving the Queen to step behind Mr. Trump. After being blocked out behind the U.S. President, the Queen then went back to the right-hand side of the U.S. President. Before the Queen caught up with him, Donald Trump looked side to side to see where she was. The U.S. President then waited for the Queen before the pair continued on their journey. It is considered rude to turn your back on Her Majesty when meeting the Queen. However, it is unclear whether Mr. Trump was told to walk ahead before the Queen caught up with him during his visit. Royal correspondent, Richard Fitzwilliams, told Express.co.uk, it was inappropriate behavior. The U.S. President will have afternoon tea with the Queen along with Melania. Former royal butler, Grant Harold, was asked on Sky News how the Queen will end the conversation with Mr. Trump after their meeting. The British media was outraged over this? But not by the fact that Muslims have rendered London one of the cities with the most knife and acid attacks in the world because they decided to let Muslims enter the nation as they pleased? Although the media is right, proper etiquette does say that when you are meeting the Queen you have to arrive earlier and you never turn your back to her. If the British wanted proper etiquette from us Americans they should have won the war, don't you agree? That was the news. 
We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.